Hey there, Scott Wilkinson here, editor of avsforum.com. I'm in the LG booth, which is incredibly crowded right now, talking with Tim Alessi, Senior Director of Product Marketing. And Tim, uh, yet another great year for LG and OLED. Yeah, it's been a very exciting year, and we're looking forward to another one in 2018. Yes, uh, you've got basically similar nomenclature. You've got the B8, C8, E8, G8, W8. Um, what distinguishes the 2018s from the 2017s? Well, besides an upgrade in design, uh, we're adding a couple significant capabilities. Number one for OLED and all of our super, uh, all of our UHD lineup, I should say, is artificial intelligence functionality with not only our LG ThinQ system, but also adding Google Assistant built in and compatibility with Amazon Alexa. Wow, so uh, the artificial intelligence part of it, I believe it has to do with learning what you like and re recommending things, but it also has to do with the video processing, does it not? Yes, yeah, the artificial intelligence will use allow you to use simple voice commands to do everything from controlling TV functions, searching for content, as well as connecting or controlling other IoT devices through, through Google. But you're right, the uh, other big upgrade is the processing. Uh, already OLED is widely recognized as the gold standard in picture quality but we wanted to take it to another level. So we created what's called the Alpha 9 Intelligent Processor, which adds up to 50% more processing power in terms of memory and speed in order to do a number of different picture quality related things. That's, yeah, and uh, one of the other in, in enhancements that I think the Alpha 9 works in conjunction with is you've, you've uh, increased the number of points in the color lookup table or LUT. Now it's a pretty technical term, but my audience is pretty technical, so give us a little bit about that. Of course, um, an average uh, display on the market today would generally have a nine by nine by nine or nine cubed color lookup table. And the lookup table is just reference points to be able to map the colors to what the display can do. Most of the higher end displays like OLED and Super HD use a 10 bit panel, so it can render 1.07 billion colors. But of course we don't have a, a reference point for each one of those. So expanding the size of the lookup table just means that there's less interpolation that has to be done, so the end result is more accurate color. Now, the increase uh, from the nine cube lookup table, um, our, our OLED lineup in 2017 had a 17 cube lookup table, which is already pretty robust, but the new Alpha 9 models in uh, 2018 will have a 33 cube lookup table. So that's over seven times more reference points than we had in in the great processor we had in 2017. So it's going to be just that much more accurate in terms of color reproduction. Speaking of which, another announcement here is the addition of LG OLEDs and Super UHD 2018 models uh, to CalMan, SpectraCal's calibration software, and the AutoCal function that lets the, the software do its own thing and calibrate the, uh, the TV automatically. That's pretty big news. Yeah, it really is, especially for people who are into cu custom calibration. This is going to make it so much simpler and easier. And the real, really beauty of this is there's been auto calibration available in the past. But this new partnership we have with SpectraCal, it allows the CalMan to access the t TVs at the hardware level. So it's a much more precise and accurate calibration that is a result. And again, you know, it cuts down a couple hour job to really minutes. Unbelievable. Now, uh, the Super UHDs uh, are also here. They're uh, uh, LCD-based TVs, uh, with uh, many with uh, fault, full array local dimming, uh, which is very good. Uh, any improvements there that we should be looking for? Well, the full array local dimming is really the big leap forward. I mean, our Super UHD lineup always uses our nano cell technology for purer colors, wider color gamut, and our IPS to maintain more of it at wide viewing angles. But for our top two series in 2018, we've added the full array local dimming, so you'll get much better precise control, better black levels, better um, local contrast, so perfect for HDR viewing. Uh, one last question is the new LG projector. I believe it's the, I can't remember the model number now, but it's a, a 4K projector that you basically stand on the floor. Well, you don't have to, but that's one way to do it. Yeah, exactly. It's, um, it's a, our first 4K projector. It's a very unique form factor, and like you said, you can stand it on the floor. It's very flexible. It uses either direct projection or a mirror, so you can stand it on the floor, you can put it on a table, you can mount it on a ceiling, whatever suits your needs best, and it pr produces an incredible image 
up to 150 inch screen size. That's at about a 14 foot throw range. Um, 2,500 lumens, so very bright, and it's just a gorgeous 4K picture. Well, I will look forward to seeing it. Uh, thanks so much for talking with us. My pleasure. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe to this channel.